we have created agents that can control multiple devices at once. Introducing CRAB, a benchmark framework for multimodal language model agents using graphical user interfaces. But why did we build this? The development of agents increasingly relies on them being able to perform tasks in natural language with graphical user interfaces. Current benchmarks do not represent this change. Imagine a task needs 100 steps to be complete. An agent that fails on the last step of a task is going to get the same success rate as an agent that fails at all the steps, meaning current benchmarks cannot distinguish between 99% completeness and 0% completeness of a task. As well as this, current benchmarks fail to address the tedious process of manually creating tasks for agents. Here are CRAB's answers to these problems. Multimodal cross environments. CRAB supports multiple environments, ensuring that agents can seamlessly adapt and excel across different interfaces. Graph evaluation. With fine grained evaluation, CRAB goes beyond binary success rates to provide detailed analysis of an agent's performance, highlighting their strengths and pinpointing areas for improvement. Task generation. CRAB automates task generation using a graph based method. By combining multiple subtasks into complex tasks, CRAB generates dynamic tasks that closely mimic real world scenarios, saving time and reducing the effort required for manual task creation. Here are some insights from our benchmark before we show you how to use CRAB for yourself. 1. Diverse performance across models. GPT 4.0 is better than GPT 4 Turbo, is better than Claude 3 Opus, is better than Gemini 1.5 Pro. 2. A completion ratio, which is computed by a graph evaluator, provides a detailed view of performance. When success rate is the same, completion ratio reflects a more accurate performance evaluation. 3. Efficiency metrics highlight the strengths and weaknesses of models. GPT-4 Turbo excels in cost efficiency, while GPT-4 O balances efficiency with performance. If you want to look at the paper, try it out for yourself via a Google Cloud environment or join our Discord community, all links for this will be above. Thank you to everyone involved in making this, as this is an open source project. We are massively looking forward to see what people do with this.